welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God, and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has seven scriptures. The first six are taken from the King James Version of the Bible, and the last one will be in a separate video at the end of the prophetic word, and it is taken from the English Standard Version. The first scripture is the book of Psalm, Psalm 48, verses 1 through 8, and it reads, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled, they were troubled, and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. Selah. The second scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 29 through 36, and it reads, And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, lest any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. The third scripture is the book of First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 through 52 and it reads, Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The fourth scripture is the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 through 17, and it reads, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The fifth scripture is the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 2 through 4, and it reads, That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. The sixth scripture is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verses 1 through 7, and it reads, And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees tree, excuse me, were for the healing of the nations, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, 
and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, and there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Now for the message. Received from the Lord God on May 2nd, 2024. Fear not, my beloved daughter. Listen to me now, my beloved children. These are the final days of the age of grace. Take it in. This concept may seem foreign to you now, but in a little while you will understand much better. You, my beloved bride, those who are ready before my sight, you have made your hearts pure and contrite. You will witness my great glory coming for you in the clouds of majesty. You will be set free from the chains that bind of this world. You will soon be mine and not of it. You will no longer be confined by the trappings of an evil society. No, you are not of this world, so you must go. When I hear the command of my father, I will then assign my archangel to blow his trumpet. You will hear it. You will then know the day and hour of my descent. You are not to be subjected to God's wrath. You have dedicated your lives to me. You have placed me first and are no longer of this lost world in which you live. It is time for me to give you the keys to the kingdom of God on New Jerusalem. The others, those who are still straddling the fence with one foot on my side and the other with worldly thoughts, you are not ready yet. You will be left behind to, to become further refined in the fires of affliction. Then you will receive conviction after I've come and gone with the first group, the first fruits of the harvest. You will be upset, but I will allow this uneasiness inside of you to motivate you to renew your faith in me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will comply since you are now 100% on board and realize that all of my true prophets and watchmen were telling you the absolute truth about my imminent return. You will learn, albeit the hard way. I am coming. I am coming. I am coming without delay. No mockers or scoffers will be allowed into my paradise. No religious spirit will inherit my kingdom on New Jerusalem. You will then know and understand the time is at hand to get your hearts in alignment with mine. Time is not on your side. Tensions are rising politically and between nations. Wars are only becoming more devastating. They will soon be escalating to a point where I must Swoop in and save the day. My children who are ready will be taken up in a moment just in time. My timing is always exactly perfect. 
Be ready, for the time has come to take you unto me to New Jerusalem. With everlasting love, Jesus, your refuge in the storm. Toward the scorners he is scornful, but to the humble he gives favor. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 34.